So in a couple hours, we got a new set of Belda Galloways getting dropped off. So I'm gonna get a holding pin set up here in the lean-to and a place for them to be comfortable while they get used to their new farm. So to start out, I need to get this last round bale of 2020 moved over here out of the way next to the new hay. And then there's about a half a bale there left that we had that we're peeling some off for the heifers when we got them. I'll put it over here on the other side of this fence line feeder panel. So the next thing we need to do is get this gate hooked up here to the feed panel. So with the pin set up on the inside of the lean tube, we're going to grab these corral panels and set them up out in the front of it so the cattle have a place to be outside. So we got everything set up uh, here on the other side of the feeding panel. I got some hay out. There's the rest of that open bale. I'll be able to unroll it to give them any extra that they might need. And if you look out this way, I got those corral panels set up. I got it opened up so we can back in and unload them there. And I brought a feed trough up so that way I can start basically training them to the bait bucket. So with everything set up, there's only one more thing to do. I need to go home and bring a hose back when they're on their way so that way I can fill up the water trough because I don't have enough hose here to reach from the hydrant up here to the water tank. But we'll get that set up when we come back over to unload them. So these are the three new Belda Galloways that we just got. I've just been unloaded here for maybe about five minutes. I topped off their waters over in that corner, that's where they're standing, and I gave them some bait feed. But we're gonna basically back off, just let them get used to their new surroundings, uh, let them calm down a little bit, just because this is all new to them. So it's been two days since we've received this group of Belda Galloways. Uh, they're starting to really get comfortable here at their new farm. Um, I noticed that whenever I come over and checking on them and stuff, uh, giving them water, giving them some bait feed just so that way they get accustomed to my bucket method. Uh, they're coming up to the gate checking me out. This morning when I pulled in, they came out to the gate looking for me. And it's been wet here recently, so they got their pen pretty muddy right here in the front area. And I really don't like that. So what I want to do is just set up a small perimeter electric fence here around the lean-to. This group has never been exposed to any kind of electric fencing before. And so what I want to do is start with a smaller area out here. Um, that way they can kind of experience it, get used to it. This fence is a little bit stronger than the solar power charger that we use in the back. This one actually is a direct plug into a 110 volt outlet, carries a little bit more power to it. So that's why we like getting them exposed to it out here. Um, that way they don't really want to test it too much when they're in the back on the solar charger. So we got this little fenced in area all set up. The charger's plugged in and working. Um, this is just so that way they can get used to electric wire since they have never been exposed to it before. Even if they get out of this, it's not like they're gonna leave the farm. There's good perimeter fencing around. So we're not too worried about them getting out. We just want them to learn to respect the electric fence. That way they'll respect the boundaries that we set up in the pastures. So what I wanna do is go ahead and open up one of these panels. I'm gonna leave the rest of it set up. That way, in case they get out or I wanna put them up at night or something along those lines, I'll have it all set up already and I'll be able to lure them back in there with a bait bucket. So we'll go ahead and open this up now so they can get out and start exploring.
Well, I was glad to see as soon as I let them out, that one went right up to the fence and decided to try it basically within the first 10 seconds of being outside that pin, um, which is good because I saw them jump back. They bounced around and tried the fence in a couple places. I've been watching them for about an hour now. They seem to be adapting pretty well. So I'm gonna come back and check on them a little bit later this afternoon and see how they're doing then. So their first introduction to electric fence has gone good for this group of Beldies. Uh, they're still in the pen and that's all we really hope for. What I got right now with me is my sweet feed. I wanna lure them back into their pen and pin them up for the night. I'll sleep better knowing that they're confined into this lean-to overnight than if they were just out here able to go wherever they really wanted in this front pasture. And what my plan is is to let them back out again in the morning into this smaller section and eventually open up this whole front side of the driveway with this lean-to to them and just kind of gradually ease them into the electric fence process. That actually went a lot better than expected just because it was super quick. Normally it takes them a couple minutes to decide if they want to go back in the pen or not after this feed after being out, but this group ran right back in. So I'm pretty sure that they're going to handle this electric fence transition pretty well and coming to this bait bucket when we want them to. So we'll be back out in the morning to let them out. We're going to give them the smaller pasture, like I said, again tomorrow and we'll see how they do. Well, that'll wrap up this video. Thanks for watching.